and it's yours. Philip, you said that you were a little bit tired today, and I can well imagine that you would be tired at the end of this year. Mm. What a, well, year, year and a half, two years, what a time you have been having as an actor. Mm, it's been good, yeah. But it's either, it's either feast or famine, isn't it, in this uh, business? Uh, not really. I mean, I, like I said, I, th I think things have been pretty good for oh, five or six years now, you know, I mean, pretty steady, you know, and uh, I can't complain. But now you're getting the recognition. Yeah, yeah, you get more recognition. You kind of, you know, uh, yeah, it's all good. You know, I, I don't want to make more out of it than it is, or assume that it's more than what it is. But, but obviously, it's just getting better, and that's good. And uh, it, the loss of anonymity is not bothering you so far. I really haven't lost it completely. I mean, uh, it has to, you know, I mean, what is it? You know, uh, I still run into people all the time. We're like, what do you, what do you do? <laughs> so I mean I I mean you know I mean I was at a restaurant last night and we had this party and Kate was there with me Kate Blanchett and we walk out and the, the guy's like well wait wait here paparazzi you know and so there's a lot of paparazzi out there we'll bring your car to you so I'm outside so I was like whatever I just wait till my friend chat my friend my car comes I go to my car and all the paparazzi just pass me right to Kate because <laughs> Kate was actually waiting inside the restaurant I was outside the restaurant. So I, I, I wasn't that weird, but they weren't, you know, they didn't know who I was at all. <laughs> Did you want to say, hey, you know, have you seen Flawless? <laughs> no, I, I got in my car and I was like, well, thank God I don't have to deal with that. <laughs> no, I, it's, just, it's just not, you know, I'm not Kate Blanchett or Matt Damon, you know. <laughs> but she looks so different in everything she does. It's amazing to me that she gets recognized at that much. Yeah. 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 All right, talented, the talented Mr. Ripley. What do you see as your character's relationship with Tom Ripley? How does your character feel He's about him? He's trying to expose Tom Ripley, you know, He's trying to expose him for who he is, because it's obviously threatening his life. Yeah, excuse me. <laughs> it's threatening his life in the way Ticky Greenleaf is a good friend of his, you know, and the minute Ticky Greenleaf shows up not missing, not there or missing, uh, Ready? What doesn't want to deal? What doesn't want to have that? Doesn't and knows that Tom's at the bottom of it and goes after him. You know. Altogether, how many weeks did you work on this? About film? seven. And where were you during that time? Rome and Ischia. And had an island off of Italy. Had you been to those places before? Never. So, what is your take on Rome? Beautiful. Rome's wonderful. Rome's old. You know I mean? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> I love that. Rome's old. It is old. <laughs> Great reading, Philip. <laughs> <laughs> and and beyond that, did you have any feelings about Rome? Uh, well, no, I mean that. Meaning that if you want to go to some place that's been kept so well, you know, it's old. Meaning that it's it's been kept well, and so it's when you're right in the center of Rome, basically there's nothing modern around you, and it's a great feeling, you know, to kind of be in another world, because you literally are. Yes. Well, Philip, I wish the best for all of you. The Talented Mr. Ripley, a wonderful film. Oh, I thanks. really enjoyed it. Oh, good. And uh, I, I enjoyed your performance, and I look forward to seeing you the next time. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. Take care. You too. Hey, everybody. <laughs>